Hey guys, um, welcome back. Thanks for returning. So today I want to talk about mm, blending with other people, what it is, um, why we might do it, uh, and how it can be a little bit destructive. Um, so in the traditions that I have been taught, um, of course we are all one, we are composed of one essence that I consider to be love um, and we express ourselves through these individual soul alignments and um, original blueprints of our galactic intelligence, our star intelligence, our soul intelligence um, and we were given this original blueprint, this original spark of light in this body and in this life uh, through which we may express ourselves and bring our gifts into the world. Um, so I know so many of us are looking for our purpose um, and the reason that we came here, the reason that we're here, um, our gifts, our talents, what we're here to share. And the fastest way to access a clear expression of our own personal gifts and talents is through re-anchoring our original blueprint and pulling our um, original spark of light back into our body and learning to give not of ourselves um, but of universal and this is uh, how we can be sovereign beings um, and bring our gifts into the world, hold boundaries while simultaneously learning how to connect with other um, in a really safe way. So blending is um, when you become so intertwined with another, whether it's your lover or um, your parents or your best friends or somebody you just met who you're just totally blown away by, um, and you two or three or more, you, you just become completely intertwined with this person or these people. Um, and the analogy that I like to use is uh, like a smoothie basically. Um, so say that like my original spark of light is strawberries and your original spark of light is mangoes and um, you and I meet and we just fall in love, become best friends right away and just want to be around each other all the time and are completely changing our lives and our plans so that we spend more time together and let's do this together and let's create this together and let's make this business together and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. These things that we do when we're totally blown away by a person um, or when we're in long-term relationship and we are together for a while and really have dove into um, codependency. And so basically what, what this looks like on an energetic level is that I've taken a handful of my strawberries and given them to you and you've taken a handful of your mangoes and given them to me and we've stuck them all in a blender and then poured them back into ourselves and um, now I'm this smoothie of you and me rather than being the two of us being individual expressions of ourselves and coming together and working parallel we've come together and we've so deeply intertwined that I can't see strawberries anymore you can't see mangoes anymore and both of our gifts and talents um, and individual offerings have become blended. Um, we do this for a lot of reasons. I mean, it feels really good, right? Like, it feels so good to be seen and held and found outside of ourselves. It feels so good to, like, not feel alone and to merge with another. Um, we do it because we don't notice that we're doing it. Uh, we do it because of um, spiritual teachings that tell us that we're all one um, and that you know ultimately you know we're working to come into union with everyone around us we do this for so many different reasons right and a lot of the time we have no idea that we've done it until all of a sudden you wake up one day and you realize you can't remember who you are you can't remember your own gifts you can't remember your own truth you can't remember your own desires um, and maybe you've never known these things. Maybe you've never been able to see your your gifts and talents and your truth and your desires um, because this is how you've been taught to be with people is just um, to blend with them. 
And so, uh, why is it important to disentangle ourselves? Um, it's important to disentangle ourselves for a lot of reasons. If you want to know who you are, if you want to understand your own gifts and talents, and if you want to clearly anchor your soul mission on earth, you must become sovereign. You must become yourself. You must bring yourself into your personal alignment of who you are and what you're here to do. And so we must pull ourselves back into ourselves um, and completely disentangle from those that we love. And from this place of sovereignty, um, we can step into interdependence, right? Um, in Khalil Gibran's very famous quote on marriage and the prophet at the end of it he says let there be space in your togetherness for the pillars of the temple stand apart and the cypress and the oak grow not in each other's shadow right um and what he's saying here is essentially like strength and foundation and beautiful creations can only be made sustainably right because they can be made but they can't necessarily be made sustainably when we are disentangled pillars of our own sovereign light and our own sovereign beingness into the world um so just to give you a few practical steps that you can take uh it's not the easiest work and it's a little bit um ethereal if you haven't done a ton of energy work or grid work but some really practical pieces that you can begin to use um, are just like if you're if you find that you've blended with your lover every time after you have any sort of intimate interaction or sexual interaction can you just like clear your body out of the other and pull yourself back in um, another way that you can practice this is by you know, releasing other people's agendas. And if you haven't watched my video about agendas, um, I'll put the link below so that you can go watch that. Um, but releasing other people's agendas. So anybody else's to-dos for your life that you can see that are visible to you um, are things that you can begin to let go of uh, and begin to come back to your own personal agenda. Um, creating space and time for yourself is really a vital practice. Um, so to create boundaries for saying, oh, this is my time for meditation and really forcing yourself to spend time alone, um, and to recognize that alone and loneliness are not, uh, synonyms, right? Um, we can cultivate a relationship with self that actually makes our alone time some of the most fulfilling and connected time that we can have, um, anywhere with anyone. Um, and there's so many other practices, right? So, uh, creating shields around ourselves so that other people's agendas actually can't get in. Um, and those are working the energetics of things and just clearing, learning to clear yourself every day. Um, so whether that's imagining a waterfall rushing through your system and just letting it pour down and trickle through you until you feel like yourself again, or if it's finding a guided meditation about clearing online or, um, you know, sleeping alone from your partnership occasionally so that you can clear your body while you're asleep, which is really amazing. Um, so there's tons of practices. There's tons of ways to do this. And uh, I would say the, the, the easiest, the first step that you can take is just to notice um, those moments when you really feel like you have blended. Um, so for me, the most obvious places that I have noticed myself blending with others are uh, in previous intimate relationships. I was really good at that. Um, it was really easy for me to like just kind of meld into this blob of oneness with another human being, with a lover of mine. Um, and I've had a couple of really instantaneous, like, finding a soulmate in a friend that have resulted in, like, really intense blending. And it was so funny um, when my teacher first pointed it out with 
a dear sister of mine and I was kind of like aware of what was going on but I didn't really conceptually understand what blending meant at the time this was probably two two and a half years ago and I was just like well why does it matter because it feels really good she's awesome <laughs> um, and then like these massive dis or these massive entanglements occurred and uh, it was kind of hard to see my own gifts versus her gifts and where they could be parallel and work together and where they really just differed. Um, because we are all unique, we do have our original blueprint, we have our soul mission uh, that we're here to bring to earth and the best way to begin to unravel that and begin to become clear on that is to disentangle from um, the energetic grid of other. So pulling your grid back to self and then um, working your mission from there. So if you want to learn more, uh, send me a message on Instagram at Molly Moonrise or um, send me an email on my website. I'm going to link both of those things below and I'll be writing about blending and um, agendas and how to disentangle from both of those things over the next week or two. So if you want to see any of that writing, it'll be posted on Instagram and my blog. And I hope that you guys have a really magical day. Thanks for watching and we'll chat soon.